Hello again, everyone, and welcome to a special lessons episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. Um, this one is similar to, as I've so often the case, similar to lessons I've I've recorded before or observations that have come to me and bits of wisdom. Um, but I felt like this was a good there's a good there was a good distinction to be made here. Um, thinking in terms of addition by subtraction, uh, which is a concept you may well be familiar with. It's a little bit more. It's it's almost like a, a metaphorical. And now like a mathematic analogy, but anyway, addition by subtraction, sometimes when, when seeking to grow or expand your, your life, your impact, um, to continue on your journey, it's, it's pretty tempting to just think purely in terms of what you're going to add, you know, what needs to get bigger, what needs to be more in that kind of thinking. It's, it's pretty natural to think that way, but I think it's just as often what you remove or what you refrain from that can lead you to your next level. Um, and this, and I, I, I did make a distinction with remove and refrain because sometimes it's a matter of taking out an obstacle. Maybe there's a, a something in your life that is, you know, applying the inverse of the 80-20 principle is taking up 80% of your time, but only has, you know, is only having 20% of the impact you want to have or are having. Um, things that are just out of balance in that way that, you know what, maybe that needs to be removed. And then there's also things that you refrain from you know, words left unsaid, roads left untaken, untaken. Obviously there's a, um, when you choose to go through one door, there's obviously other doors that close along with that. You know, there's an important acknowledgement there that sometimes you do have to refrain from going down certain paths in order to stay on the journey you want to stay on or take the next step on the journey that you know you need to be on. Um, and it's just a consideration, a way of looking at things to maybe help inform your decision-making process. When you're thinking about what's next, it's not always about addition. Sometimes it's about what you leave out or what you remove that really allows you to take the next leap forward, not just the next step, but the next leap forward. Um, and it's something I think about a lot. Um, obviously, I'm always looking to like add new things. I mean, most of us here are, we would self-identify as lifelong learners. You know, we're always looking to add new bits of wisdom, new skills, new techniques, new expertise, expand our repertoire, grow our network, meet new people, make new connections, get new clients. It's always like more, 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 more. And that's all important too, which is why I think it's good to shine a light on how important it can be to look at things from a perspective of what can I leave out? What can I remove? that will help me get on to that next step. So anyway, addition by subtraction, it's a concept worth pondering, especially as you're as you're moving through life, especially as you're developing your business and developing yourself. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks so much for listening and I'll talk to you again soon.